Ron, we miss you so much. Well, Sarah and the baby miss you. Me and the guys are good. I know you have a rough out there. Here you go, Sarah. Buy something nice for you and the baby. Any chance you have real money to give me, Ron? And not soap in the shape of money? Oh, you're still using real money on the outside, huh? Sorry I've gotten so used to prison life where everything I need is provided for me. On the inside, living is so easy and free. As it should be. I wouldn't call it free. The taxpayer is funding all of this, you know. To the tune of $88.5 billion a year. For you alone, Ron, the cost is somewhere around 30000 annually. And you told me my master's degree in literature would be worthless. Yet here I am, housed in a prison cell. Fad. That food looks like slop. Not to mention free clothing, gym membership, healthcare, soap. There was a prison riot the last time we visited you. Sure, prison has its flaws. What system doesn't? But if all of life's essentials can be provided in here, that means they can be provided out there too. Ron, you're describing the relationship I have with my gators. I take care of their every need, but that ain't no way for a man to live. Au contraire. I believe when Karl Marx said, from each according to his ability to each according to his needs, he envisioned a world that feeds, clothes, and houses all humankind. And gator kind. Ron, don't you find it ironic that you found your socialist utopia in a prison? Yeah, Ron, you might be getting your basic needs met, but you're being forced to be here. Honestly, Sarah, when it comes time for my parole, they might have to force me to leave this place. Thank you so much for watching. Please subscribe for more educational cartoons. We drop one every two weeks. Boy, oh boy, do we love doing it. So you subscribe so we can continue. Thank you.